and you know what time it is welcome to the show welcome to the show welcome to the show and in this video we're going to review the real housewives of potomac season six and this is episode eight this episode is the green eyed bandits versus the phd gangster herself wendy and oh boy the tension just keeps getting thicker and thicker so let's get into it so this episode starts out at day two at Williamsburg Virginia and the scene ends with Wendy walking out of that argument she had with Giselle and just the thought but for all the money that these ladies have on this show why are they ordering cheap Chinese food at the end of the night when they've been drinking whiskey all day you know with all the GMOs all the MSG I mean just what you need when you want to throw up <laughs> just some some cheap dirty greasy Chinese food but you know hey I thought they was a little bougier than that what do I know and it also seems to me like I made some people a little perturbed a little vexed last week with my video by calling uh, Wendy Miss New Booty they thought I was hating on her but the thing is I'm just reporting on how they what they called her on the show so but she was acting a little brand new so I think I'm gonna stand on that Miss New Booty for now <laughs> and another thing you gotta have thick skin to be on this show you know because if you don't the green eyed monsters is gonna eat you alive you feel me because the thing is Giselle and Robin they pretty they pretty masculine chicks on the show and Wendy and Karen Scala you know they they the real feminine women so like I said this bad girl Thotty McThottenstein <laughs> thing that Wendy is trying to portray you know it just ain't cutting it you know she's back at the cottage crying to Karen on her on her shoulder just like Giselle said she'd be you know and now I'm kind of sensing some drama that might kick off between uh, Robin and Ascala. You know, for now they friends on the show. Like she brought Ascala on the show, but the reason being is Wendy and Robin got into it, and now Ascala and Wendy are becoming close. And Ascala is starting to see another side of Robin. You know, when she's around Giselle, so I'm sure it's gonna get catty. Some jealousy is gonna be thrown in there at some point, and I think it's gonna act out. But that's just my that's just my uh opinion and you know why was robin pointing at her lady box when wendy told her Fuck you <laughs> you know just masculine as hell she up there pointing at her stuff it's like what why are you doing that but i know she was drunk but anyway a scholar shoots from the hip you know she's very direct when she uh is telling giselle that she started the whole beef with wendy last night go ahead chick but one thing about having all this drama is Wendy seems to be toning it down a little bit, you know, but that's in regards to her attire. It's still sexy enough without being over the top and she's covering up those water balloons. <laughs> and let's see, an interesting uh, pool conversation happens between friends Escala and Robin. Now Escala calls out Robin on her defending Giselle so quickly against Robin against Wendy and Robin acts like she doesn't even know that she jumped in that beef for no reason even though Giselle admitted how she's hella messy and shady as fuck <laughs> but Robin nah so it looks like uh, Giselle tries to make amends with Wendy when uh, Wendy arrives at the pool you know Wendy just cold turns her back to her and ignores her but Giselle seems to be enjoying that you know she it don't seem genuine so she keeps trying to pick at her she keeps asking if, if they can talk Giselle is evil <laughs> you know but this is the quietest I've seen Wendy so far I mean she don't even have the energy enough to throw her credentials around like she is really tired like she is done with this stuff <laughs> so I don't know where this is coming from but you know they uh Candace is having a video shoot so she wants some of the ladies to be in her video so they put teams together for them to audition to be in the video and first up you got team twerks a lot <laughs> that's <laughs> that's Robin Mia and Giselle you know they all stiff 
I don't think they got any rhythm between them, but <laughs> Karen is hating on them hard. You know, she's definitely talking about Giselle is flapping her vagina at everybody. <laughs> and then next up, you got the Nubian queens. That's Wendy and Escala. You know, of course, the Africans are sticking together <laughs> in here. So they look pretty good. You see, I knew they was going to get together. <laughs> you know, I just knew it. But uh, Wendy looked a lot better than she was when she was trying to twerk in that limo. You remember on that pole? Yeah, that was that was crazy. But she's looking a lot better out there now. And then they have Karen do a solo thing. And, uh, you know, she 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 twerks. And Giselle returns the fire like poor Ray. That's what he got to come home to. <laughs> they just eating each other up. But Karen ends up winning the uh, contest. And I guess she's going to be in Candace's video. Wow. I, I can't wait to see that. <laughs> and so they got this swearing in thing that uh, Karen has to do at Sorry, Virginia. You know, she's getting the key to the county or whatnot. And so she invites the Scott. No, she invites Wendy and Mia. And it seems like Karen and Wendy might get into it over this these candles because <laughs> Wendy, you know, she she's trying to start a candle business. You know, that happened in a few episodes in uh, maybe one the first or second episode. But then at this swearing in, Karen announced that she's going to start doing candles and Wendy is looking like this be here, <laughs> you know, so if something's going to happen between them, it's going to be over candles. After this swearing in ceremony, they got me scratching my head again. Like why are these uh, rich, wealthy people eating this crappy ass food? I mean, then they show them going to 7-Eleven <laughs> to get Slurpees and coffee and chips and all this stuff. It's like, it's just, it just looks weird. You know, they eating this cheap food convenience store fast food Chinese food and I mean but at least Mia admitted that her husband G will not let her go into 7-eleven ever so I kind of get that but they got money I don't see why they just don't get better food that's just me <laughs> okay so on the way back to the cottage in the big house <laughs> Mia stirs the boiling pot even more when she starts instigating and telling what happened in the party after the big blow up last night between Wendy and everyone. You know, she straight up wrongly paraphrased what Giselle talked about Wendy. So Wendy gets heated again. Yes, she puts the battery in Wendy's back saying that Giselle called her a weak bitch, <laughs> which wasn't true. Well, she didn't say it in those exact words, but she did kind of say that. So you know it don't make it even it don't make it better the way uh, Mia said it to Wendy though okay so now the ladies are back at home they get ready for a dinner party so now everybody's at the dinner party and Robin tries to mess with Wendy you know instigating another fight but Wendy catches her off guard and she apologizes if she says something to offend Robin and Robin don't know what to do but she keeps picking at Wendy for a fight Wendy don't give in but Robin won't let it go because she's mad that Wendy said her and Juan had a didn't have a real relationship and how Wendy was so happy for them when they was getting married again and all this stuff. But Wendy retorts back with why does she keep taking uh, Giselle's side even when Giselle is totally wrong? I don't know. And then uh, let's see, Wendy then has words for Giselle she doubles down on why she's uh, better than Giselle because she's in a committed relationship and Karen applauds her and Robin is still confused because she can't get Wendy to fight with her but <laughs> Wendy still hates Giselle I guess she want Wendy she want to smoke with Wendy but Wendy ain't giving it to her she still want to go at Giselle I don't know she couldn't get to her so that was about it for this episode Okay, so that's it for my commentary, opinion, thoughts, and review of episode 8 of Real Housewives of the Potomac Season 6. And you know the routine. Hit the like button, share, subscribe, tell people about the channel. And I'll see you guys next week for sure.